It just really left many people scratching their heads as to why Rihanna would be geopolitically interested in India and what is going on in their environments. Doctors have noticed a rampant increase in patients reporting severe neck and upper back pain. This growing trend is likely caused by people spending more time in front of their screens in the past year. It's become common that even a new term was coined, quarantine neck. This is why I highly recommend Magic Hands. Magic Hands uses revolutionary technology that recreates the feeling of a lifelike massage in your own home and reverses the pain caused by quarantine neck. Magic Hands features specialized materials, adjustable wrist supports, and multiple color options. Four deep kneading nodes, nodes designed to recreate a lifelike shiatsu massage, customizable massages to make every session unique, heat functionality, and breathable mesh covering. Get Magic Hands today by going to www.magichandmassage.com. That's Magic handmassage.com or visit the link below. Muchachos e muchachas. Let's talk about this Greta Thunberg India situation. Now, yes, we already have a lot as it is in the United States to worry about, but that's particularly my reason for going into this. Jumping right into the matter, a couple weeks ago, Greta Thunberg, as you guys know, is a climate change activist, very involved with mainstream environmental affairs. So back to it, what happened a couple weeks ago was she tweeted out the CNN article, uh, standing in solidarity with the farmers protest. In a tweet, she stated, we stand in solidarity with the hashtag farmers protest protest in India. And the CNN article headline states, India cuts internet around New Delhi as protest farmers clash with police. Very curious. It was actually a day before Greta Thunberg tweet that Rihanna made a statement on her Twitter in which she stated, why aren't we talking about this? Hashtag farmers protest in which she linked the very same article in that tweet they're very curious i mean on one hand you got greta thunberg as you guys know greta thunberg is big into uh, avoiding carbon footprints and so she sailed uh, transatlantically via a yacht to get to new york city well it turns out that they actually had to fly five to seven people transatlantically to get the boat back. And I'm just gonna say it's just peculiar that Rihanna would show support to, you know, an environmentalist such as Greta Thunberg when her own car collection. Yeah, it's just, um, it just really left many people scratching their heads as to why Rihanna would be geopolitically interested in India and what is going on in their environments. So this is where it gets really spicy and interesting. Later that day, Greta Thunberg then tweets out, here's a toolkit if you want help linking a Google Doc. Now, something very interesting about this document were the very instructive and scripted uh, steps for influencers as well as celebrities. For example, Rihanna's tweet, why aren't we talking about this, was found word for word in this document with Rihanna's tag right next to it. These were under a section called suggested posts. In another page, it had it very organized as to what to tag, who to tag, what hashtags to include, what political uh, governmental accounts uh, they could target, as well as the support actors. Also included were propaganda pieces, you know, inciting why uh, there needed to be some sort of protest.
as word began to spread about the contents of this document, uh, there were particular individuals that were actually editing the document as people were perusing through the contents. Also mentioned in the document were some very interesting groups that were very supportive of the climate change movement, such as the Extinction Rebellion. You might recognize this group in some recent protests around the world. All the evidence of climate change is that things happen much faster than we predicted. So we've got to do something now. This is why I'm rebelling. The Yugma Network, in which is an environmental crisis group, also visible along with the influencers are news sites and other, you know, agencies and individuals whom they were relying on for the distribution of this particular protest and movement. So Disha Ravi, the alleged author of the toolkit document, was actually arrested by Delhi police. As reported by OP India, it states the global propaganda was also responded with a stern warning by the Indian government who advised these influencers to at least understand the reforms initiated before indulging in propaganda. However, hours later, Greta Thunberg, who is now accused promoting anonymity between various groups in the country, had inadvertently revealed the sinister global campaign against India after she shared a toolkit for those who want to support the ongoing farmer protests. Now, this goes to show how serious the Indian government is really taking this particular incident. According to Tribune India, Delhi police asked Google and some social media giants to provide information about the email ID, URLs, and certain social media accounts related to the creators of the toolkit shared by Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg and others on Twitter in connection with the farmer's protest. So much so that WhatsApp transcripts were actually obtained and leaked. According to India Today, these were the transcripts of that text message. Now, the crimes that the Indian government is accusing of Disha is something as serious as sedition. Now, I, again, I am not uh, geopolitically, uh, you know, well-rounded in, in Indian politics. So I don't know that she did enough to warrant that sort of charge or that sort of accusation. So my final thoughts on this entire thing is just, it's it's all peculiar because there's so much to keep up with here in the United States already as it is. I just find it hard to believe or I just find it curious. That's a better way of putting it that, you know, high celebrities like Rihanna, who has tens of millions of followers, would all of a sudden become interested in geopolitical issues such as Indians farming industry and their day-to-day -day issues at hand. But why I make this video covering this topic is because we have seen these particular players globally incite some sort of movement, the instructions, the post suggestions, the tags, something very deconstructed to the T, where on parts of the world, such as the United States, where we're not allowed to criticize these particular people, other governments take this matter very, very seriously. So guys, I'm not sure what to make out of all of this. 
only that we've seen some similar activity in the United States. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ordeal. It is completely bizarre, but also very relative. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you are on Rumble, so am I. Go find me. Thank you guys for your heart and for supporting the channel. I will catch you guys in the next video.